Hey everybody, this is the Advanced Level Trig Pre-Calc Week Rundown video for the week of December 14th to the 18th. We're getting closer to Christmas. I've decided to do something a little different. This is coming from my living room. Um, if you go downtown, they have those really cool silver um, Christmas trees. And some of you at me in my home room are like, oh my gosh, she's talking about her tree again. This is my gleamer. Isn't she pretty? So I have that, and I actually, it's a six foot 98 branch. I think it's 98, 98 or 94. Um, and then in the other room, I have a 40 branch four footer. And then I got my mom for Christmas last year, a little two footer. It's really cute. So I have a little piece of Manitowoc history and I love it. Um, and it's actually not as bad as you think putting it up. It's way better. It's easier this because I can't put lights on it. <laughs> my brother-in-law was working on the lights because, you know, you get the, like the lights on the tree and um, he has, they have like an artificial tree and it came with lights. <laughs> the lights weren't working. I'm like, you don't have to worry about that with an Evergleam. We don't have to put lights on. One of the good things. So I just thought I'd show you my Christmas tree, which I really think is fantastic. All right. So you guys have kind of a weird week. Next week, um, next week, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, you don't have school. And Monday's an asynchronous day like a Friday would be. Except your Fridays are usually you taking quick checks. You're obviously not going to take a quick check on Monday. Um, and so what I decided to do was that I wanted to make the 2-5, the 2-5 homework is due on Tuesday um, because it's a little larger section. And then I put the 2-7 homework out there. I'd like you guys, if you need something to do on your asynchronous day, um, you should be taking notes on 2-7. And we're going to start class on Wednesday, Thursday with two problems on 2-7. Um, 2-7 is just solving equations. You're basically clearing fractions. And then you're going to find the x values from there. Um, so for the most part, it's an easier section and most kids like it. Um, we're not going to do section 2-8 because I, it's not super necessary. I want to get into exponentials after break. Um, and I have a couple of ideas of extra things we might do if we're back together, okay? Um, and section 2-8 would be one of those. It's not a really, really important thing for calculus. I talked to the calculus teacher. We're good. So when you get to class either Wednesday or Thursday, we're going to start a Pear Deck activity. We're going to start with doing two problems that are similar to 2-7. And then I'm going to have things that are review for your test. Um, that test review on Pear Deck will not be like the video. I'm going to pick different examples. So um, you'll also have a review video as well. So you can look at the review video, okay? Um, I think I'm having some really funny light behind me, which is interesting. Um, so that's your Monday, Tuesday. And then... Monday, Tuesday, asynchronous, Wednesday, Thursday, 2-7. Have 2-7 videos watched and taken notes by class when you get there on Wednesday or Thursday. And then Friday, you have a very quick, quick check. All right, the following week is your test. I really want to focus on your test. So what it'll be, I already have your week for the next week figured out. <laughs> um, we're going to go over some things for your test. If we don't finish the Pear Deck activity on Wednesday, Thursday, we'll do it Monday, Tuesday. I'll take extra questions if you have them. I'm not planning anything new that last week. Um, before Christmas. And I'm also not going to release your test until either Sunday night before break starts or Monday. I don't want it. I don't like tests being out on the weekends. That's just me. Um, but I, I won't be releasing it till then. And it'll be due that Wednesday at two because everything's due at two. Okay. So, um, a couple of things that I wanted to make you aware of that I added in. Um, number one, I did throw in an office hour from 9 to 10 on your asynchronous day on Monday. I asked fourth hour and I had some people who just wanted that option open. Do they have to come? No. If I sit there by myself, that's okay. But I think it's good just to know that I'll be there. So if you want to come in with a question on Monday, 9 to 10, I'm available. I'll put the link in the stream. I did put that already in the stream today. Um, and then if that time doesn't work for you and you want another time, email me and we'll see what works out for both of us. Um, and your test... It's due by Wednesday at 2. Just so you know, I probably will not be checking my email during Christmas break all that often. Um, so you might not want to forget to take that test because I'm not going to reopen it um, during break anyway. Okay, I don't feel comfortable um, opening things on weekends or also on your breaks. All right, um, a couple other things. And this doesn't go for many of you, uh, but for some of you that haven't been coming to class, if you're giving me late work, that's awesome. I do cross-check it on MathXL or on Google. It matters where your assignment is. So just because you're clicking done doesn't mean that it is counted. It has to be finished. Um, all your Chapter 2 work, I left a uh, blast out on IC. It is due on the Tuesday before break. Uh, that way, Wednesday, I'm just correcting. I don't have to worry about getting a bunch of late homework. And you shouldn't even have that much homework, really, because you're not getting much that week. Um, and I update Infinite Campus on 
Fridays. Okay, so all your late work is cross-checked. I do have a couple people who are constantly giving me things that aren't done when they mark them done. Um, you'll get an email from me asking you to email me if things are done, if I constantly get that. Because like, there's some people, it's like, I've been looking at things for 20 minutes and nothing's there. You just keep wasting my time. Um, but I think most of you guys are doing okay with that. Um, the other thing is um, the quick and skill check. I know I have a bunch of kids who are like, oh, can you re-release that? Can you re-release that? Can you re-release that? Okay, it probably wouldn't be really tough for me to re-release it. It is kind of a pain in the butt. But here is the point of your end of the week checks, you guys. And this started last year. I didn't know what kids knew at the end of every week. I didn't feel comfortable moving forward until I knew what they knew. And I had kids who didn't know what they needed to know at the end of a the week. They're like, okay, we learned all this stuff. What's the important stuff? So every week you get those quick checks on what's the important stuff, okay? Now, could I re-release those after like six weeks? Sure, I could. But the thing is, I, that's what I wanted to know what you knew six weeks ago, not now. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'd rather not grade those things, but the reason I do is because I want to get them from you. And in a virtual world, the only way I'm going to get anything from kids, and I realize this, is if I give you credit. Okay? So <coughs> I used to do things like that in class all the time at Lincoln, and I didn't count them. But now I have to because I need to get those. So this is not just about a grade. It's about getting you guys feedback. And it doesn't pay for me to give you guys a quick check or get a quick check from September now because you were supposed to know that stuff then. We're way past that. So just know that your quick checks, it's not just, you know, about jumping through hoops. It's about what do I need to know? Do I know my stuff? Um, and the kids who are doing them on time, I've had a lot of positive feedback like, yes, this way I know what I need to know and I'm ready for my tests. Nothing's really a big surprise on the test for me because I totally know what I need to know. Um, and that started last year. I had a lot of positive feedback. So I kind of go with that. But on the flip side, just know that it doesn't really pay for me to give you a quick check from October when you've already had the test. Um, and I, it's every week. Every week I want to give you feedback. Now, if you miss one, in, one, one once in a while, that's okay. Just pop in your Google Meet and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about what you need to do. All right. Um, but that's also giving me feedback. And I can talk to you right away too. Okay. So just so you know, it's not like, you know, it's, for a grade. Yeah, it is for a grade. Do I wish it wasn't? Yeah. I'd love to just give feedback to kids without having to give them grades on their feedback. But the problem is I will never get anything from some kids and I need to get things from you. And it benefits you. It really does. Like I've had some kids who are like, I really messed up that quick check, but I didn't quit mess up on the test because I knew what I did wrong. Good. All right. So just so you know that, get those things done every Friday because yeah, it affects your grade, but it also is like, I know what you guys know. I can find it in a Pear Deck because I can get all that stuff back from you instantly. And I know how your week went because I get that, that stuff back from you. All right. Also be aware that some of you guys, I've left some notes on formative. I am still using PhotoMath on all of my assessments. And there are some things that are just like, holy moly, we don't do this in class. Do you know what you're doing? And if it's step by step from PhotoMath, I do leave a note and I'd like to talk to you about how you're getting things. You could totally be doing it and getting it that way. Um, but for instance, when you had to find zeros and do some dividing, I actually um, did that. And when I looked at somebody's day, I wrote down every step, like the photo math way, which might have been your way. I'm not saying I just want to talk to you. It was really long. When we did it, the in-class way with synthetic division, it was literally this much, you guys. So um, I don't know why you'd want to do it the long way. But you can talk to me and we can figure that out. All right. So. I know this is way longer than most of them, but I pretty much have your whole week figured out. I just got to make the Pear Deck review. Um, I have to make the test review. I made your test already. You do not need to use your graphics calculator on your test. You totally can to check your answers, but you don't have to find zeros. I'm going to give them to you. So I'm going to give you the ones I want you to use. You got to use them. Okay. Um, so that's it. So I hope you enjoyed my little gleamer. Maybe I'll do next week's quick, it'll be a quick week rundown in my other room with my other little gleamer. Um, but I love her. She's so cute, isn't she? And she's really old. She's like from the 1960s. She's older than me. All right. Sorry, this is so long. I miss you guys. Um, I can't wait to hopefully see you because I feel like we are going to see each other soon. All right. So good luck with next week. It's a shortened week. And the week after that, if you have any questions, pop into the Google Meet on Monday from 9 to 10. Info will be in the stream. Have a great weekend. Bye.